Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Ico. And I just had uh, something to eat. I decided to eat another part. It should be the fourth part. Just let go over. No, they grabbed her again. I was trying to get the box. I got a girl, but I might as well just run for it. Because if we don't, we gonna lose. And they got her again, of course. So yeah, doing things again. Get over here. I think we killed one, actually. It's nice to uh, get them stuck the, to a wall so they can, can't run away. You can hit them over again. And now we are hit, so we're probably gonna get her. Guess not. And another big one behind me. So the little ones you can basically kill in one hit. Which is nice. Is she not over here? Yeah, she got over there. Into the hole. Just pull her out again. And keep missing these spirits, or I don't know if they're spirits, but it's, they seem like spirits. So over here. And get knocked around. Just push the box a bit. I don't think it matters, because you can't really too much until... You would still have to get the other box or you would have to make her stand on the... on the button, but she can't really stand on the button if the spirits are taking her. So yeah, no it's not gonna work, never. So you just have to fight them. I dodged that. It was pretty good. So I'm just gonna run up here because I know they're gonna go. And if you hit them fast enough you can actually uh, hit them before they put her into the portal. Which is nice. So now I gotta be quick. And it doesn't really matter that uh, I'm running at a bit higher frame rate because everything is moving past the show. Still have to make the, the best route possible. He's just jumping back, is he? So. Well, it's just gonna take a while. See if you can climb by yourself. As long as you give her a first, first a pull, and then she can do the rest for herself.
Oh wow, we just skipped the button. Well, maybe it's good that we didn't push the uh, box onto the button on the other side because now we don't have to see the cutscene if we press the other button by accident. See, he's still my dad. Missing every head. Okay, run over here. Don't go with the grey stone head. And don't pull off the edge. So you always get enough time to free her, but yeah, it's really. It takes so long to kill them. Seems like it's hardly worth the effort. Just die. And then they get knocked over, you can't hit them. And then I get knocked over and I can't hit them. Just die. And then the camera's gonna change and he knocks me over again so I hope I'm not too late because if we are you have to do this fight over entirely so that's another 10 minutes of your of your life sure we could do this all day but I would just prefer to end it sooner than later See, it takes more time to to walk over the gravestone head than it's just to watch on uh, even ground. So it makes sense. So choose your path wisely. Another big one. See, and she's gonna follow us anyway if we grab her or not if they grab her we will see it and another one spawned of course and he hit us as we just walked through him waving or stick all uh, at him and he just doesn't get hit at least he doesn't die it's too bad so lights out should be good now so you can see if you do that, it takes time. If you do that, it takes time. So, um, just do the same thing that we did before we died. It's kind of a weird animation. But I'm gonna save this right now because well, I think we made some progress. We'll get over here. At least we got a box in place. So I don't know if that really counts as uh, progress. But Seven, sure. Save it out. So, also a reason to speed this up is this game is kind of slow paced. 
You just stand over there. You stay there, I'll get the box. And maybe I wanna see what it's on the ladder that next. So I don't know, yeah, why it lags and why it lags so bad. That's just how it goes. So get over there, see what this ladder does. Maybe it's nothing. It's just... Yeah, it's just to jump off. And also, these monsters respawn, which is very annoying, because they just spend a whole lot of time defeating them. And it's not like the combat is any fun at all. So I don't know why they do so much combat, especially so early in the game. It just doesn't make much sense to So I got a good amount of hits in right there. See if it can move the box a little. Yeah, of course they're gonna jump at me. But I just jump out because I don't want to get knocked over. I was very lucky to make that. Just climb out yourself, you. And I just jumped out. I hope they're gonna take her. Oh, there's no hole over here. Oh, so over there. And. sure. It's just really annoying when you get knocked over. You can't really do anything. And he just jumped up by himself, and he dropped her. So all of the monsters kind of look alike. I'm sure there's a, a theory behind all of them. I think they're all the same, but just in a different stage of their... what they are. And of course that wasn't gonna work. And I got knocked over. I hope I can make it to the portal in time. It seems like a very far way to go. So just gonna make a run for it. And the longer she's in, the, the longer you have to pull, I think. But I'm not too sure. So, if you like this game and uh, if you play it, if you played it, just let me know how you played it and what your tactics are, or maybe in this area you did something else. Or maybe you're just like, well, I'm just interested in this game. And I don't really want to play this at this time for myself. Even though I don't really like it a lot, but it's still an interesting game. For a couple of reasons. You might want to play it.
Gutsy Inception. So, did we kill all of them already? I guess so. So, let's go along. Right over here. So what's the deal with this room? I think we have to lift this end of some way. Should be a mechanism somewhere. Let's see what's over here. Nothing. And one thing that I wish I could is that I wish I could record this with NVIDIA Shadowplay because I've used Shadowplay with uh, Dark Souls now and it's pretty good. Looks pretty good. Does not take away from the video quality and does not cost me any frames so. And this uh, NVIDIA Shadowplay is it's supposed to be DirectX uh, compatible only with DirectX, but being that this game is uh, DirectX, I think we should swing it somehow. Yeah. I wonder if this will work. Guess so. And I made it. And that's a trigger point for more. So. Why? No, what? Why is everyone around me? She is not really helpful in this game, is she? Most of the time she isn't, but in some situations you actually need her. I know this, but... It's just... I think I did it before that she would climb up before she was even grabbed but now I just held up my hand and she just wouldn't grab it. Just, no way. No, I'm just gonna stand here in this pit. I don't really care that you're gonna help me. So it looks like these things have uh, horns as well. Or they have very strange ears. But I don't think that's the case. I really... <coughs> like this really annoys me because I was just up the ledge and she could have just grabbed my hand and just she didn't so I have to go down and beat every one of those stupid black things and then I have to go up again it's just progress cancellation for the win
Yeah, he just doesn't get hit. And of course now they're gonna knock me out. No, they don't. So I just knocked him over before he could put her inside of the hole. It's also a possibility. And every time the circle glows, something is coming in or going out. So if she's put in, the circle's gonna glow. If they come out, the circle's gonna glow. And another big one just spawned. I thought I had all the big ones. It's just freaking annoying that they would wanna. They spawn so many of them, and they do it so many times. They just, I kind of got to comment about it because what else is there to comment? Because it's just the same thing over and over again. And later on, there's actually a couple of interesting puzzles, but. I never got to it because there's always this part it seems like 90% of the game you're walking around with a, just a stick and you have to hit them 20,000 times to kill them just freaking annoying So yeah, just gotta wait for him to climb up. Stupid. Of course I can't hit him on the ladder. And he was gonna go down. Girl, I was on that ladder. <laughs> just lay down and don't don't ever get up again you're evil and after you finished the monsters or maybe you can could have gotten that up on the other side before they got there pretty sure that I won one time I did do that but this time, for some reason, just play wouldn't let me. And now I have to press V in order to get up. And call over our lady. So, if he could have just pulled her up here, we could have just run to the door and end this. But sometimes that just doesn't work. And now we're in the mill area, I think I think it is. Just you just watch the frame rate, yeah. All of this open area. So there's only one way to go. Let's just start climbing this uh, mill. You can go over here and over here there's another ledge. Let's see if we can we can make that jump. Get over here. Now my guess is higher is better, so we have to get up pretty high. And now it's gonna be tricky. And you don't wanna do that, so don't do that. And then you jump and you have to I try to jump as much as 
to the right side as I can without feeling uncomfortable. And then you have to go over here so you can grab the upper. What is he doing? So you can grab the upper beam. And then you have to jump off. And apparently you have to press the left analog stick in the direction that you wanna go, but I guess that's how you do it. Mm. There's a couch over here, but she is not up here, so you can't save right now. Which sucks because you always have to be with the two of you to save. Now you can go over here. Let's see. Now, this is the point where you press, press the C button or the circle button. Because C is for circle, because C is almost a circle. And here is press here where you press A. Because you have to call her. And just wait for her to do a thing. It's just. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk to the left and then to the right. And then I'm gonna walk to the middle. And then I'm gonna make the jump. Could be a little while. Or maybe you're just <laughs> in the wrong spot that you have to move like one inch. I'm pretty sure she can make it, but she's just awfully slow by herself. So I just like to help her as much as I possibly can. So you can. You can open the doors or you can go straight to the couch and make a save. So I'm just gonna make a save and uh, end this episode right after I saved it. If I ever get to the save menu. So I'll save it in another slot again. Let's see. What did I... Slot 8, sure. Well, thanks for watching and 